As Baltic-bound ferries chug through Helsinki's South Harbour, the doors of the city's portside food market open as they have most days since 1889. The Vanha Kaupahali building's long history has mirrored Finland's own. Through Russian rule, war, independence and upheaval, scarcity and prosperity, the traders here have furnished Finnish tables with produce for more than 120 years. In February 2013, however, the doors of the old hall closed as the city reinstated the then shabby shell to its former glory. A 15 million euro year and a half revamp later, and the neo-Renaissance building in the heart of Helsinki is once more the focal point of a community. It has also become an embassy for Finland's increasingly exciting culinary offerings. Poster girl for the new generation of traders is Helsinki-born butcher Anna Hauer. Having worked in a stall for nearly six years, the 27-year-old took a loan from her father to secure a vacant shop in the market before the reopening this June. I had been thinking of like, opening my own shop for a long time. When the renovation of the market hall was getting ready, I found out that there were still some places open and then I decided that now it's the time, now or never. Specialising in seasonal game and wild poultry, Anna Harrow champions Finnish delicacies from tender cuts of moose to cold smoked reindeer and a local favourite, bear meat. We also have quite a lot of ecological meat, so we're trying to have this happy meat, so it's, it's produced well and the animals have had good life. People are really like getting more interested about what they eat and, uh, and how the food is produced. There's like very few places where you can like buy, buy game. Usually it's like uh, as a hobby you hunt and then you can get the game, but we're one of the places you can get it from. When you go to a normal store, you just buy and you don't know who's selling it to you. But here you get to know the people who's selling it for you and you get to know the customers. And it's, it, it, makes the, it makes a whole lot of difference. Service and quality are at the very heart of the market's reinvention and its continued importance over the past 120 years. Many of the stall holders have held pitches in these pinewood stalls for generations and forged close relationships with their long-held customers. Juha Lindenberg, for one, has been a fishmonger for 10 years and a popular face behind his glass-counted stall in the market for the past five years. Relationships are quite deep with our local customers. They have been only two years old when they started to come here with their parents and grandparents. So it continues in the family and we know those people and we really remember what they have been buying and we remember what they want to buy. We have uh, everything from caviar to little vendas from Finnish lakes, everything between that. You can have uh, already made seafood, you can have uh, smoked fish, salt marinated salmon in different ways and of course the most fresh fish in the Finland. We are the makers who make this everything possible. Without knowledge that people really have here, here wouldn't be any customers. A quick survey of the other stalls reveals the variety of what's on offer. Finnish confectioner Kulta Sukla has been selling its sweet treats made in the town of Itala for the past 20 years. And Maria Putelin has been managing her vegetable shop for nearly 50. She rises at 4 a.m. each morning to scour the wholesale market for ripe radishes, rosy tomatoes and fragrant dill. But new shops are also gravitating towards the venerable old market. Opened this June in the market's central atrium is the coffee shop Story, the new space co-founded by restaurateur Anders Vesterholm that focuses on combining pared-down finished design with top-notch service, fresh ingredients, and a nod to the market's storied past. What story stands for is an artisanian way of life, basically. We, we take what's around us and we, we make with our bare hands, you know, something beautiful out of it. We take a look at the freshest ingredients around us. What we want to do food-wise is, is traditional, natural, Finnish, Helsinki food. But of course, there's always a definite passion behind everything to make them taste and look better than ever. Story Space adds an airy modern touch to the otherwise traditional interiors, proving that although the market is a nod to the city's food traditions, entrepreneurs here aren't slaves to it. Instead, friends clink wine glasses at sturdy wooden tables beneath upcycled lampshades and polished pendant lamps. 
It's very important that we have been able to get some fresh new blood and ideas and energy into the hall. And I guess partially our mission here and why the city of Helsinki chose us to be here is to bring in a new generation and, and see through that uh, we do have this market hall here after the next 140 years as well. It sounds straightforward enough, but it's the careful touch with which the city is honouring its culinary past that's whetting our appetite for its future. For Monocle in Helsinki, I'm Josh Fanatou.